Hey, I'm back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the best nutrient for fear. Now, let me just clarify. So I'm talking about a body deficiency that can put you in this fear state, whether it's anxiety, doom and gloom, worry, panic attack, paranoia, even claustrophobia. The nutrient deficiency that's most likely to put you in this state of fear is a vitamin B1 deficiency. You don't have enough thiamine. And without enough thiamine, there's certain parts of your body that just don't work right. You may have a problem with the amygdala, which is a certain structure in your brain that has a lot to do with um, fear and anxiety. You may have a problem with the autonomic nervous system, and now you're in a state of flight or fight mode. Or there could be a problem with your adrenals. Now, the absolute best way to get your B1, because I don't recommend taking a synthetic version, is to take nutritional yeast. You can get it in a powder. You can also get it in tablets. Just make sure it doesn't come with synthetic fortification, because a lot of times they add synthetic B vitamins with the nutritional yeast. Now, some ways that you can become deficient is you drink a lot of tea, drink a lot of coffee, you consume a lot of sugar, refined carbs, especially refined grains, uh, you're going through a lot of stress, and alcohol. All of these things right here can deplete you of B1. And there also could be a mutation of something called the MTHFR gene, in which case you're not converting certain B vitamins like folate. You're not converting folate to the active form. And this actually is not very rare. It's like in 20% of the population. And there's a certain test that you can do for this. And I'm going to put a link down below of a video I did on it to find out if you have this mutation. But if you do, there's a certain protocol that you're going to take. And I mean, I put this data in the video down below. One thing you would take methyl B12. And another thing you would take is folinic acid, which is the active form of folate. So if you just happen to have this genetic mutation, that could be affecting your mood and no matter how many B vitamins that you take, you're just not going to feel any better. So anyway, if you have any of these conditions, go ahead and try this and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S., Hopefully in the future, we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.